Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. dear students. Welcome to the online lecture on control systems engineering. And today we are going to introduce this channel, and I'm also going to introduce myself a little bit. And the major part of this lecture will be on how to read and simulate a research paper. Because I really uh, feel that this is a skill that uh, all the graduate uh, students uh, should have and aspiring researchers really need to know how to uh, do this and read and simulate research papers so that uh, more impactful research can be carried out in control systems and in other domains as well so first of all my introduction i'm i have graduated as electrical engineer from the U university of engineering and technology in taxila pakistan in 2005 about 16 years ago and masters i have ma uh, two masters degrees uh, electrical engineering and aerospace engineering from the university of michigan ann arbor and i have graduated with my phd from the university of michigan ann arbor in 2012 i am a fulbright alumnus i got my fulbright scholarship uh, these all my masters and my phd was sponsored by the fulbright program and currently I am associate professor and head of electrical engineering department at the University of Central Punjab Lahore. Uh, I feel that I should give you this introduction because it is important uh, uh, for the discussion that is coming up next regarding the channel. If you want to know more about me I will post a link uh, to the video which tells uh, a lot uh, about myself and my personal story and uh, that will tell you why I created this channel. So my vision to create this channel is to have a global platform for control systems engineering education and research and uh, based on this vision my mission is to facilitate motivate and inspire the under uh, the understanding and real world application of control systems and uh, this I can do with the explanation of the concepts and methods and research involved in the control systems. So the important policy is I am not a freelancer please uh, I am not here to make money because I already make all the money that I need I have a full time job that is already very demanding so I mean I, I barely have any time other than uh, this uh, channel which is my passion so uh, I, I can post videos on this channel to help you guys learn and understand but I am not here to you know uh, do your uh, help you in you know things that i don't feel uh, comfortable uh, that i i should not be uh, using my skills for for your uh, you know assignments or research you should be using your skills or you should be developing your skills for your for doing your own research so i won't catch a fish for you i will teach you how to fish so once you know how to fish for yourself you can catch any as many fish as you want so uh, now without any further delay we come to our uh, main topic of today's video which is how to read and simulate a research paper so i will start from scratch so for some of you this might be a little bit uh, boring in the beginning but i hope that by the end of this um, video it will be uh, useful and interesting for everyone so before you start usually research is done by the PhD students or master's students master's students uh, really don't have much time they have only three or six months to complete their thesis uh, PhD research is more serious one so we are going to focus our attention on that one so once you enter or aspire to enter into a PhD program first you have to decide the topic of your research so the topic of the research uh, can be decided on multiple factors uh, it can be decided based on your personal interest it can be decided based on your target universities it can be decided based on the target professor it can be decided based on the difficulty level that you can tackle 
so for different people have different types of intuitions some topics are difficult for some people but they are easy for some other people similarly a topic that might be easy for you can be difficult for uh, your friend and the topic that can be easy for your friend can be difficult for you so there is no uh, uh, you know strict rule of uh, what is difficult and what it is what is easy it depends upon you know it varies from person to person if you have done your prior research uh, if you have any prior research experience or you have done any msc thesis that can also be uh, you know deciding help you in deciding the topic for example let us suppose we want to do uh, we want to pursue phd at the university of michigan ann arbor so we get, we go to university of uh, michigan uh, electrical i will search for electrical engineering you can search for any uh, other domain that you want so we click on the website of the university we go there and we look for where the you know the the faculty uh, profile is uh, here if you go to the electrical and computer engineering then you can see here this is the list of faculty and staff so you can go to the faculty and you can see uh, let us suppose that uh, we want to uh, do research for with with achilles so what we do is we copy uh, control c we copy achilles and next we go to uh, scholar.google.com and we paste uh, his name and uh, here achilles has a profile on google scholar as well you can click on his profile and you can see uh, which are his most famous research papers and you can also see by year that you know what are his latest research papers so latest he is uh, um, signaling equilibria for dynamic lqg games with uh, asymmetric information so he's working on lqg games so, so he, that's the topic if you want to uh, if you want to apply for a phd admission at the university of michigan and in your admission application if you want to uh, mention uh, achilles as your uh, potential supervisor then i i recommend that when you write your research statement then you uh, mention some some of these topics which uh, he is currently working on as your <coughs> area of interest <coughs> excuse me so uh, next is um, once you go through this step the next uh, step two is to specify a topic within the area of interest so uh, for example uh, we looked at uh, the target professor and target university approach what if you are interested in some topic for example you have uh, you have worked on uh, let's suppose uh, hybrid electric vehicles so control of uh let's say let's hybrid electric vehicles so this is your generic area of research so within the control of hybrid electric vehicle uh, your next step is to basically um, look at the uh, look at the topic within the area so uh, within the area of control of hybrid electric vehicles there might be multiple problems that people uh, may be working on so there is optimal control there is modeling and control there is mechatronics design there is uh, shortest path stochastic control there is stochastic dynamic programming so so there is intelligent control predictive cruise control so there are so many topics within the control of uh, hybrid electric vehicles so you have to know know which topic you have uh, you are really interested in so uh, deciding a topic uh, may involve uh, a few factors for example identify the latest trend so latest trend can be identified based on uh, searching for the latest papers identify the available gap it's not so easy or straightforward to identify the gap but i will tell you later on how you can do that identify the audience uh, that is optional so for example you can 
यू नो सर्च ऑन गूगल और और मे बी आस्क पीपल अराउंड अबाउट यू नो वट टॉपिक्स हाउ मैनी पीपल आर इंटरेस्टेड इन वट टॉपिक्स एंड समाइम्स इट इज़ कॉमन सेंस दैट टेल्स यू यू नो विच मार्किट इज़ बिग एंड विच मार्किट इज़ सो नाउ वी इफ यू गो इन टू लेट सपोज यू कैन सिंपली आस्क गूगल वट इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट इन कंट्रोल ऑफ हाइब्रिड इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स सो यू कैन जस्ट यू नो डू अ गूगल सर्च एंड देन यू यू कैन जस्ट यू नो थ्री इलेक्ट्रो मैकेनिकल डिवाइस आर इम्पॉर्टेंट बैटरी सुपर कैपेसिटर्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड यू नो विच फैक्टर्स यू कैन जस्ट डू सिंपल सर्चेज एंड यू नो हैव अ लिटल बिट यू कैन डू डिफरेंट सर्चेज यू नो वट काइंड ऑफ मार्केट्स are you know what is the magnitude of hybrid electric vehicle markets who are the users and where which countries use them the most and and so on so which city has you know uh, which university is doing most research in hybrid electric vehicles and so on so similarly you from sometimes from the topic and from the area you can go into the university and the professor you can search the professor and the university from the topic as well and you can search the topic from the university or the professor so it can it can go both ways so once you have identified the area or the topic you need to search good research papers within the selected topic so uh, for that case you go to the google scholar and there is this menu uh, by the way uh, for uh, latest trends in hybrid electric vehicle the control of electric uh, hybrid electric vehicle you can also apply this filter so uh, you know since 2021 what are the papers published in this area and what are these this will uh, tell you new trends and uh, similarly since i am an electrical engineer so i often go to ieee explore so in ieee explore i search different topics and it it's um, it you know it's very comfortable for electrical engineers this ieee because it gives you you know control of hybrid electric vehicles so if i search this uh, this will give me you know some results that are uh, a little bit more elaborated so it gives me about 5000 conference papers more than 1000 journals magazines early access papers books standards and there are you know these are the details and then uh, you can also apply filters you can apply you know from and to so i can you know ask the ieee explore to have papers from 2018 and 2021 so last 3 years what's going on in the last 3 years and this will also tell me the trends so remember i got more than 1000 journals uh, uh, for all time and more than 500 journals are formed from the last 3 years so this is telling me that the hybrid electric vehicles is a latest topic because you know out of uh, uh, 1300 journals that were in my previous research uh, the 577 are from the last 3 years so this is telling me this is his latest uh, on the other hand you know the conferences are uh, were you know about 3000 and now they are more than 1000 so that means that in co conferences have been discussing this topic for a little bit longer than the journals then you can also uh, look for you know affiliation school of mechanical engineering and school of electrical engineering in different universities you can enter affiliation here as well and you can also look for the certain author so you know these are the top authors maybe in the field and you can look at look for these authors and look for you know their other uh, specifically their paper and uh, then you can uh, have 
multiple different types of filters that you may want to apply as well and you can also have sorting in different uh, newest first oldest first most cited first so you can see which paper is most cited in this domain in the last three years and you can basically have that paper as your base paper as well you know in this case we have this one uav aided offloading of cellular hotspot anyways so this is the uh, next step and um, uh, the good research paper within the selected topic research papers in the best journals and conferences so this is what i was uh, going to tell you before so you go here and there is uh, this thing called matrix so this is plain google scholar website and if you in the google scholar website you have this link matrix and in the matrix you can search the top uh, venues where you know uh, different things are published so in the matrix you can also go for um, you know some searches and uh, let's suppose we search here the uh, the control systems so we can search for uh, the publications here are the top 20 publications matching the uh, keyword control systems and let me uh, see if we have that um, uh, yes this is this is something uh, the category so if you go into the category let's suppose engineering and computer science and in sub categories you can go automation and control theory and then you can also get you know the top uh, venues for uh, you know control systems research so IEEE transactions on automatic control that is the best venue for uh, publishing and reading control systems related research and similarly you can also have other categories as well for example artificial intelligence you can say international conference on learning representations that is the best venue for artificial intelligence based research according to google uh, google scholar and uh, next let's go to the uh, to the next step uh, when you have selected good research papers within the certain topics maybe from ieee explore maybe from google scholar and maybe from you know your own library of your university you look for most cited papers you look for papers in the best journals and conferences you look for the latest papers you look for the uh, papers uh, focusing on a common problem within the topic for example within the control of hybrid electric vehicle uh, if you're interested in um, optimal control so so you look for only the papers which are which are employing optimal control for hybrid electric vehicle so you refine your search and you say now i want optimal control for hybrid electric vehicles so you go there and then you you know focus on that topic you just uh, get your results so these are some results so there are like 407 journals related to this from 1990 to 2021 and if you apply the filters like let's suppose 2000 and um 2019 to 2021 this last two years so then you can see whether this is the latest trend or not by looking at the uh, number of journals so this is one fourth or maybe a little bit more than one fourth of uh, the total amount of journals so you can uh, basically predict what are the trends and what's going on in a certain topic within the field so once you have got in uh, research papers uh, definitely you cannot read all of the research papers there are so many research papers already been published on every topic and every subtopic and so many are still being published on a daily basis and and you cannot uh, hope to read all of them so you have to have some mechanism to uh, scrutinize the research papers so let's talk about uh, this so for initial scrutiny you only read the title the abstract and maybe the conclusion of the paper so you read only the title the abstract and 
you know maybe the conclusion if you are not clear by reading the title and abstract you can also read the conclusion and after reading the title and the abstract and conclusion answer the following questions what problem has been solved in the paper what method has been used to solve the problem how has the method been verified by the authors did they verify by comparing it with other methods or did they verify based on you know some simulation results or some you know uh, theorem proved or what what was the uh, you know this this you should get from the abstract what are the strengths and weaknesses of the method this you should usually get from the conclusion section so if you don't get this information from the abstract title and conclusion then i recommend that you throw away the paper don't read it any further don't waste your time just only consider those paper which are very clear and very um, you know understandable to you regarding what they are doing what they have done and how they have done it and how they have verified that the method they have used is you know uh, good enough and what are the strengths and weaknesses of the method they should be in the conclusions so this is these are the you know first indicators of uh, even if you are writing a paper and in your own uh, paper if these things are not answered in the abstract and conclusions your paper is not good enough so reconsider the you know your writing and uh, putting together of your research uh, paper and then once you have a few papers which are clear to you uh, in the first step then you know you can uh, go ahead and uh, uh, in the intermediate scrutiny level you can read the inter introduction and the simulation results section for example i have a paper here so let us look at this paper so this is one of the papers that uh, for which i have written the code on uh, the matlab code is written for it and it's uh, one of my videos i will post a link of this video um, this this is up on my channel so a new reaching law for anti disturbance sliding mode control of pmsm speed regulation system so this paper the title is telling me that a new reaching law has been de developed for anti disturbance sliding mode control so this sliding mode control that for which the reaching law has been uh, designed is uh, an anti disturbance type sliding mode control and what is this control controlling it's controlling a permanent magnet synchronous motor and how what aspect of permanent magnet synchronous motor is being controlled its speed is being controlled okay its speed is being regulated so if i understand the title if i understand what is happening then i read the abstract so in this article in order to optimize then this and that new sliding mode control is proposed so i know what has been proposed so power term is boundary uh, bounded by absolute so i know what is the weakness or what is this is the strength of this method so the power term is bounded by the absolute value of the switching function and then uh, effectively uh, you know suppress the inherent chattering this is another strength of the method anti disturbance sliding mode controller method called this uh, smc smsc plus eso method is developed and so on its validity you know is pro, uh, control method uh, has been you know uh, verified with the simulation and experimental results both and mo at most i go to the uh, uh, conclusion section and i read you know this has been proposed optimize dynamic performance and this and that so reading abstract and reading conclusion just you know maybe 15 minutes uh, per paper and if i am a full time phd student uh, spending 8 hours per day in my research and uh, considering i read like slowly and three papers per hour then in 8 hours i can read 24 papers and in one week which is 5 days i can read like uh, more than 100 paper like may maybe 120 papers so imagine in one week you can go through 120 research papers as a phd student who is full time working on research I mean how uh, much of your literature sur uh, survey can be done 
uh, in just one week if you are serious on in on your research so you can scan through more than a hundred paper maybe more than you know 200 papers in a couple of weeks and then uh, based on that you can select just uh, 10 20 papers for which you clearly understand the title clearly understand the abstract and clearly understand the conclusion and all of these 10 20 papers are on the same topic uh, you know of interest and most of them are the the other criteria is that they should be recent they should be uh, from reputed journal they should be one of the most cited if they are not recent then they better be one of the most cited papers so these are the criteria based on which you select the paper and once you go into this intermediate level of scrutiny you read the introduction section and the, you read the introduction section only for those papers uh, for which you clearly understand the abstract and conclusions and the title and you clearly know what's going on then when you read the simulation results section and the introduction section so let us look at the introduction section so introduction section we uh, talk about the permanent magnet synchronous motor in general uh, in ge general and then they talk about what has been done in the past what different people have done fuzzy control predictive control neural network control and what not you know fuzzy sliding mode speed control what what are the advantages disadvantages of each of these controls and in this article what is new and that you know what why is it new why is it important and what are the contributions of this article all of this is in in the introduction section we don't go into the section 2 yet we just read the introduction and then straight away we go to the results section maybe uh, mm, this is design of anti-disturbance we don't go into the design or anything we simply go to the results section uh, we look at uh, where is the yeah simulation and implementation in this section we demonstrate so should you, you read this section and this is the second level of scrutiny and in this section you also uh, simulate the results so this is where uh, my videos come into play uh, where you know this is the skill that I teach you which is related to the intermediate scrutiny within your research cycle so what you do is uh, so for example we looked at this paper and we simulated this paper we have already written the code for this paper and this is in my videos as well so once you simulate this paper so how do you simulate a paper basically for control systems engineering you only have to look at two things one is the dynamics of the system in this case the dynamics of the systems are pretty long so this uh, pmsm mathematical model it's equation 19 20 21 all of these equations are involved and uh, uh, but not all papers if this is too difficult for you you just let it go don't go into this paper go to another one but if you're like really want uh, this topic to pursue this topic maybe because your supervisor or you know you've already selected the topic and now you cannot change it so you just you know keep calm don't panic just do one equation at a time just write the code for one equation at a time and then one by one you will be able to write the code for all the equations so converting equations into mathematical code uh, that i have done many times and i have many videos on that so if you watch even two or three videos you should know you should get a hang on it and you should know how you know i write ed equal minus omega e l q i q it's really very simple it's you know i write it just as it is in the code uh, equal sign is equal sign ed is ed omega is omega and so on so it's just you know it's not 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 too hard you just have to not panic the key is to not panic so next um, once you have written this code and you know next you look at different types of analysis so uh, you run this code so these are the parameter values different parameters given in the paper first of all you play around with these parameters so these are let's suppose alpha naught is some parameter related to uh, the controller or something beta 1 beta 2 k epsilon you change these parameters you know change the values of these parameters and run the uh, file again and you know see look at the results 
so you run it and you look at the results okay the speed is reaching the here i have given the the desirable speed to be 700 so you can reach the 700 desirable speed in let's say 0 0.6 seconds can we reach it in 0 0.1 second can we have uh, can we avoid these bum bumps you know what happens if i change different values if i change the value of k if i change the value of b1 b2 b3 so there are so many parameters to play around for you so this is the investigation part i mean by playing around i mean playing around carefully and responsibly you know take a note of every step you do and take a note of whatever is the result of that in that uh, step that you took you change the value what happened you know uh, did the settling time reduce or increased did the um, overshoot undershoot increased or reduced what happened to the performance define the performance in terms of different parameters maybe rise time settling time percentage overshoot whatever you want you know not whatever you want whatever is accepted by the community so these are the drums that i mentioned are accepted by the control systems community so uh, be uh, you know informed about what is uh, uh, what is acceptable as a performance metric for the community and this can be uh, you know obtained from the paper as well so this paper has uh, used some performance matrices so you can look at what they have used as a performance measurement then you can also once you you know about what happens if you change different types of parameters then you can go into the equations of uh, the sliding surface then you go into the equation of the control so this is the intermediate level scrutiny where you know you come to know about uh, why is the problem under uh, under consideration important this you get from the introduction section what has been done in the past this also you get from the introduction section what is the novelty of the proposed method this is also obtained from the introduction section what is the way forward from the proposed approach this you can get from uh, playing around or changing the parameters and then you can also change you know the sliding surface if the sliding surface is uh, uh, this omega rd minus x4 plus c times x7 so this is uh, sort of like a sliding surface that depends upon the difference between the actual and the desirable velocity and some other uh, integral uh, uh, variable so then you can play around you know change this sliding surface a little bit make the square of error make the cube of error or play around with this integral term then what will you what you will basically be doing is you can try you are trying to modify the control in a hope to improve this performance remember that research is a risky business so if you are doing this if you are investigating uh, at the end of a long investigation you may be finding out that you know the controller proposed by this paper is actually the best and there is no way out but the chances are very slim you know the harder you work there's more chance that you will find out something you know there's almost always you will find out something but if you do not find anything uh, the the spirit of the research tells you that you move on you know it's your the your inner self may be telling you okay i have worked so hard on it and there is no outcome that's so unfortunate yes it is unfortunate but move on move on do not try to publish what should not be published you know it's at the end of the day it's it does not matter how many papers you publish it only matters how impactful or how useful your research is even if you publish one paper in your whole life that helps the community that is better than having a thousand publications in your list of publications so you know think about it uh, we read about the Witterby uh, algorithm and we read about the Huffman algorithm and we read about all these uh, great uh, mathematicians and scientists and engineers who proposed those methods and when we talk about these methods we don't talk about how many papers Witterby published throughout his life or career how many papers you know Newton published or how many papers were published by Einstein we only talk about the Einstein's relativity theory and Newton's uh, theory about the gravitation uh, and other uh, you know forces of nature but 
you know that that's that's what what is important at the end do something important for the community not you know just fill in uh, your documentation or cvs that's that's really not gonna help because sooner or later you, you will be gone you know you you're not gonna live forever so better make an impact before you go so uh, after this um, if you are comfortable if you play around with the values and you see good performance for example if you see that you know changing the sliding sliding surface in a certain way actually improves the performance then that's that's really good but you're not done yet so the next step is uh, which is the final step you have to fully understand the matter proposed in the paper you have to dive into the derivations of these sections so this section of design of anti-disturbance sliding mode speed so this is not just about now it's not just about the equation the final equation of the control the simulation part is just you look for the final derived control equation and you apply it but in now you have to look at the full derivation how the author arrived at the sliding surface how the author proved the stability for the sliding mode control that he has proposed and then you look at the full derivation of all the other mathematics as well because now you are going to derive and prove the stability using your new controller that you have found using the simulation results so in simulation results you changed a few things and you found out good performance and now you want to prove it mathematically that you know the controller that you found out is actually uh, prove can be proven to be useful for every kind of uh, situation and not for just uh, this this was no, not just a coincidence in here also there is a risk that you know there might be uh, certain assumptions under which your controller works and without those assumptions your controller does not work it, it's completely fine you mention those assumptions in your research papers when when you write it so verify your method with the existing one you can compare it with the existing one and then you can write your own research paper and get it published so that is all uh, dear students uh, that i have to say today about how to publish the research paper let me summarize uh, step one is to decide the topic step two is to decide the area of interest within the uh, uh, sorry step one is to decide the area of interest not the topic area of interest and then step two is to decide the topic within the area of interest then you select some good research papers and then you do some initial scrutiny where you can read you know more than 100 papers per week if you're working full time and after that phase you uh, look for intermediate scrutiny where you have to work hard on you know three or four papers which are uh, preferably they should be using the same uh, mathematical model so that the only difference is the control equation so that you know you don't have to write different codes for each paper the codes may be similar for different papers then the final stage is to uh, you know uh, fully understand the paper and get published you can use uh, ieee explore google scholar and within the google scholar you can use this matrix uh, thing where you know you can have these categories of different papers you can search uh, control systems and you know uh, these are the top papers but if you go back there is this uh, list of categories uh, where you can select the engineering and so on so that is all for today i hope that this video will be useful for you and you will be able to carry out your research effectively i will keep on posting uh, the matlab simulation uh, for different papers and also the lectures for different theory theoretical